good evening. It's uh, Friday evening, 10.15. Oh, dear me. I uh, had a surprise visit today. I had a cat from Cat Custom Trikes pop up. So, uh, that was a good catch up. And uh, I'm going to be heading out to hers Monday. Get some uh, tasks I said I would help with. That gets me out of this place for a little while. Oh, um, she took her racing bike as well. So I pumped the tyres up. All the chanks have been sitting out front for I don't know how long. <laughs> um, <clears throat> She's got my little trailer as well that I hook to my bikes. Um, I don't use it. Well, I do, just not really that often. I think I'll uh, find a suitable bike to pull the one out front as well. A suitable bike to put my hitch on. Uh, so I haven't got a suitable bike for that at the minute. Well, I have, but I ain't putting a that sort of hitch on either of my Claude Butlers. No way. So I'll find something, you know, a bit older, a bit rougher, cheaper. Um, so I can use the trailer out front. I may end up just locking it up at the end of the flat or something instead of uh, out front here because uh, I'm the only one here and I can't keep you know trying to find someone to help lift it over the railings every time I want to use it and uh, that's quite a heavy one so I don't really want to stick it on end and wiggle it through the railings either so I'll get it out and then that can stay up that end I'll lock it at the end of the block or something on the dirt with two flat tyres. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Da, 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 da. I think Cat would make more use of it than I would anyway. Like I said, I barely used it once in a blue moon. I used to put my groceries in it, but these days I'm always doing my groceries when Mum's uptown. So I just stick them in the back of the car, so pretty much not needed um, right should be doing a car boot sale tomorrow at Aylsham so I've got a box of bits there I've been down in the shed and thrown a few bits in there and can see a kitty cat. Can you see him? Can you see his head net? There he is. <laughs> Hiding behind the drawer. Yeah, anyway, I've got that box of crap to go. I might go stick that on the landing. I'm going to take that down, but I may not take it. Depends. There's also a radio down in the, in the shed as well. I don't know. If I'll take either of those. It depends what room we've got in the car. Uh, yeah, all that computer bits that was in the cardboard box down there went in that plastic tub because there was less of it. So I could actually fill that box up. It's actually got a fair bit of weight in it now. No. Pardon me. Like I said, I'd have taken those tractors, but uh, I did promise I wouldn't sell them. <laughs> it is really, really tempting because I know I could sell them. Oh, that actually reminds me. That does remind me. Boat base. I don't really, I don't need them. Really don't need them. 
Here's the base to put the um, oh, the keel weight. I had to stop and think of the name. There's a few more bits I might just go through my box there and have a look. But I've got another two of these. So <clears throat> I'm not really fussed if I can get like a quid for that. That'll do. Just get it out of my hair. Pardon me. Pardon me. Oh. Oh. I've just had an idea for a kick-ass Lego model. <laughs> I've got these little green tip -a lorry bodies down there. And in one of these I've got another two. Now, I could make two of the same setup. I've got more than enough bits here to do two of the same set. But I could do what's called a road train. I could make the front part, I could make the trailer part, and then I can make two more trailer parts. And that would be what they would call a road train. Yeah. Someone left a comment commenting on this, you know. If in doubt, have salt next to the computer. Yeah, the reason they're there is because I am one of those people that eat at my computer. So, <laughs> that's, why, that's why you always see the salt, the ketchup, perhaps in the background of the videos. Because I'd never be bothered to put them back in the kitchen. Pardon me. Uh, I'm not actually sure what brand this is. It's not what a friend of mine asked. Uh, no, it doesn't actually say. It's just got HY510 written on it. QR code. And Hal... Halmzii? Zii? I don't know. I look like some sort of chinese sort of name. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I probably pronounced it totally wrong. Ooh. Need that. Put my laptop back in there as well when I can remember where it is. It's over there. Just in case I go to Mum's tomorrow. Probably will. Because it'll be easier to go straight from Alsham across to Mum's to be honest. It's not that far. Uh, I'll take some batteries for the radio. This is weather permitting as well because it was dull today. Um, not cold, not wet, just a bit dull and overcast. Um, so we may not even do tomorrow, we may change our minds. We'll, uh, we'll see when uh, Mum gives me a call later. I could, if I really wanted to, sit and build up a third one of those and sell that at the car boot. But uh, I really can't be bothered at the minute. I think I'd be better off putting that on, sort of thing on eBay. I'm just losing the will with eBay because it's too friggin' hot. It is too much work this these days unless you've got an eBay shop. <sighs> but I'm really surprised, you know, that my, neither of my computers have actually sold because a charity shop in town sold one for 60 quid. And they were running Windows Vista, and the specs were not much better than these two. So, and I'm selling these installed with Windows 7. What they actually came with, I haven't installed Windows 7 on them. I've just uh, made sure they had at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. They can be upgraded a bit more, but I just haven't got any more. Uh, and I'm asking, you know... I think it was, yeah, it was 60 quid. I'm asking £10 less or, or near offer. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I haven't sold them. I don't know, it just seems like nothing is selling that well at the minute. Hmm. Oh, dear me, I've got a bit of wind. I think I need to use the bathroom. Oh, I'm going to have a look through that box down here. See if there's any uh, bike bits in there. I don't think there's any computer bits I want to take. 
my idea is, is just to take as many different bits of random shit, basically, that's all it is, as I can. Because um, I actually find those are the sorts of stalls that seem to get the most attention. The ones that have more random stuff on it. You know, not trying to sell something specifically like bike parts or fishing gear. So... So much gear I could probably take. I know if I took some decent computer stuff that would sell. Ah, oh, pardon me. Um. Oh, oh dear, excuse me. I haven't long eaten and I've been drinking cola. Right. I want to get to this bike, but I've had so much crap going on the last couple of weeks. Well, I say going on, more like so much crap sitting in front of it, I just haven't been able to have the room, you know, to do any work on it. I've got another vintage bike downstairs I want to fix up at some point. I've got that yellow mountain bike frame on there. I need to finish taking apart and uh, preparing for a new paint job. I figured why not? Something to do. Flog it on for uh, 25 30 quid when it's done. If I can get it looking really, really nice. <sighs> I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else I want to chuck on. Oh, this bike up the corner, I'm taking the um, racing bike handlebars off and I'm going to put a straight bar on. So, if Cat's Custom Trucks is watching, I will do videos showing you how to convert this sort of bike into a hybrid. As you asked me today, if it was possible to do it to yours, yes, it is actually relatively easy. <clears throat> And no doubt I've got the parts here to do it. Actually, in fact, I know I have. It, we would have to uh, change the gear shifter, but that's about it. Well, the gear shifter and the brake levers, but that is it. That's all you got to change. As well as put a, you know, a hybrid type or mountain bike type um, handlebar in it. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cool. I haven't heard that sound for a long time. I have no idea what brought that up. <laughs> I haven't heard that one since I was little. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't even know where the hell that one came from, to be honest. Right. Okay. Tempting to take that Windows XP laptop as well. Because I know I could get like 10, 20 quid for that, but I like that one. <laughs> that is one of my favourite Windows XP I need to go through my pile actually and uh, see if there's any I want to get rid of. Actually, I can see one. I think I'm just going to take that and try and poke that to someone um, for spares repairs. When can I see? I'll just see you on here for a minute. I'll show you which one it is. I sort of do like it and I don't like it. I don't think I've got power on to my lights at the minute because I could do with a bit of light up this corner. Uh, whoa! Yeah. Oh, I've still got. I've actually got a little Dell computer over there, I want to get working. Um, <coughs> those are two of me oldies, I want to keep those. It's this one I might take, spares repairs. Um, it is complete. It is in relatively good condition. Um, why not? It's got till the end of the car boot season. If it doesn't sell, I'll take it apart. Because I really don't think that one will uh, 
do that well on eBay. The Samson maybe, and I want to fix that Toshiba actually. I've actually found out I can get a replacement motherboard for that Toshiba for less than 30 quid. Which I actually thought was quite odd because that's DDR3 that laptop. But uh, I am watching it and I may go for that when I get paid. But, uh, just to recap what Toshiba I'm on about, it's uh, this one. Because that would actually make a good uh, Windows 10 machine, that one. And then that means I could have two options. I could either sell it on or keep it and actually have a spare laptop in case one decides to, uh, or in case my other one decides to shit the bed as it were. But uh, it's gone together all right, you know, I've got it back together. But it just seems to be this, the motherboard dead. But this one apparently that I'm watching, it's the only one I can find of this specific model. Um, and I actually thought that was quite cheap. I was expecting it to be um, a lot more than that. So I was actually expecting you know, to go and find an identical laptop. That perhaps has, you know, the eh, that works, but just have a, you know, a smashed screen because the screen's fine on this. At least it's not damaged anyway. You know, and just take the screen from this one and put it in the other one. But I couldn't find another one of these on eBay, and uh, all I actually found, you know, there's plenty of screens and power adapters and things like that. And just one motherboard for this specific model, so I'm going to go for the motherboard. Practice my laptop repairs, because I really don't like doing laptops. <laughs> I don't mind these sort of netbook type ones, because they're extremely easy to get to. But with these, you know how awkward they are. I don't, I don't know if they do it deliberately. Because with this one, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen bloody screws on this side alone to take out just to get this cover off. This cover. And then on this side, there's one, two, three, four, five. Although I couldn't get that one to go back in, but as well as the two screws to take the keyboard out. That's why I don't like doing laptops. Why they have to do that, I don't know. I mean, this cover is actually on here pretty secure, so. But with these netbooks, you just undo the screws underneath and the top cover just comes straight off, it's easy. And you're looking at everything. It's almost like they designed them to be repairable. And it's just like, the laptops were designed to be as annoying as, uh, you know, as humanly possible. That's actually one reason I like to work on these. You know, because to get to it, you just undo two screws or two thumb screws or whatever on that side panel, and the side panel just boop, slides straight off. That easy. <laughs> with laptops, no. I mean, with this one, if you have a processor problem, you've got to take it apart to get to it, because there's no door on this one. I have... No idea what this is for. It might be for... A, might be a Windows 7 COA. I thought that was XP at first, but this has got a Windows 7 sticker on the other side. But all the other board I, I'm watching comes with a Wi-Fi card as well. Yeah, so hopefully in the future we'll get this one fixed. I mean, if that's how cheap a motherboard what was to get for this, and I don't actually know why the computer shop this came from just put dead on it and scrapped it. Anywho, that sums it up for this little vlog. Uh, so tomorrow, all being well, 
car boot. I'll have a look around see if I can find any more stuff. I might find the instructions for that truck ready so I can, uh, excuse me, build it up maybe tomorrow when I get home or whenever. You can see what sort of truck I mean and what I plan to do. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.